Hi you guys, it's Wendy coming to you with a project share. This isn't for a commission journal, but is a flow journal. That's a swap for a group I'm in. Made it from a cereal box and it's got all these cool little anatomical images. And then it's bound with all these cool fibers and this little skeleton guy from the Dollar Tree. The whole premise of the flow is to be a journal that allows itself to be deconstructed and for the materials to be used in whatever project you'd like. So here I've got some self-adhesive rhinestones. I have a couple of cards of washi tape, these rhinestones, and this cool purple and black striped ribbon. Lots of scrapbook paper. This is a cool paper pad that I have that is actually meant to be kind of celestial. I think it still fits. Um, these bookmarks that I've made or page savers. Got magnets and they're double-sided. Here we've got a bunch of little trinkets. Um, for instance, got this little decal or iron-on of the pumpkin and a boo card. We've got jelly print, some scrapbooky paper, crepe paper, vintage ribbon. I made up a bunch of these papers where I utilized uh, crepe um, tissue paper and adhered it to cardstock. It's another jelly print, some more of the tissue paper. This is cool. I kind of uh, used an ink pad in order to kind of bring out the texture. Some assorted ribbons and fabric strips and some more scrapbooky paper. This random marbled paper, kind of a wanted sign kind of paper. This is kind of a silky looking paper. Um, vintage thrift store find was a Snoopy Halloween comic book. And so I thought that was kind of cool. This one's already been colored on. And of course, if you didn't like the cutesy nature of the coloring book, you could just cut out the pumpkins. Here we have a desk pad that is also a calendar. Um, some dyed paper and jelly print. And some fabric, some graph paper, and again, another thrift store find with the doily. More fabric. Here we have some cards I got at the thrift store. Those are kind of fun. Some Mendy hand designs and just random kind of cutouts and die cuts. Tissue paper, some post-it notes, tissue paper, um, paper, lined paper meant for jelly pens, a doily, and some more tissue paper brings us to the middle. Uh, Dollar Tree post-it note and some tags that I made. And then we have this next pocket which has some rub-ons, some chalkboard stickers, this cute little cat calendar, all kinds of things in here, some baggies. We have that other part of the fabric. Kind of skip the, the duplicates here. Other sides of things. Here I have this uh, handmade paper in kind of black and purple themes. And get to my next pocket here. This is all envelopes. And the next um, pocket that I have is list pads. And then of course I've got my paper on the other end. And then here on the uh, last side, of course, I've got my coloring book and all these ribbons and uh, lace pieces. And then on the back, um, certainly more anatomical images. But yeah, I think that that'll be fun. I'm gonna tie it together with this Dollar Tree scarf. And I think that'll be make for a lot of interesting materials for my partner to use in whatever project he or she wants to. So anyway, just wanted to share that. 
Hopefully you guys are doing well. I haven't completed any journals in a while. I'm not sure when that will happen, but I will certainly share those when I do. Uh, hopefully you're having a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.